rush forced families out of their homes. Now, it's still not clear what sparked this fire in Isle of Wight. You could see the smoke for miles, especially along Route 460. Firefighters from Windsor, Carsville, Smithfield, and the State Department of Forestry worked all afternoon to get it under control. And only Fox 43's Ann McNamara spoke with residents as they packed up their belongings. And Katie, I just got off the phone with, phone with emergency services. At last check, the fire is out, but there are still some hot spots, and those could spark some smaller flames. Nothing, though, compared to what we saw earlier when people were in danger of losing their homes. If it does come down through here, then we are ready for it. 100 acres in Isle of Wight burning on the other side of the tree line, burning its way toward these homes on Old Suffolk Road. Scared to death. My house is the one right in front of the fire department truck right there. That house right there is my parents' house, and that's my husband um, and my brother-in-law. They're spraying the house down. Their hoses hooked up to the fire department's water tanker, trying to make the house too wet to feed the flames. Four fire departments rushing to contain the boundaries and residents in a race of their own to fit as much as they can in the car. We're getting all the important stuff we want out of the house just in case the fire jumps over and takes it. This one, that's your mama's wedding dress and your grandma's wedding dress. And Emergency crews ordered a voluntary evacuation. They could make it mandatory if the wind shifts. My girls grew up here. I don't want it to go anywhere. My best friend lives here forever. So we're just trying to save everything that we can. Right now, well, it's, it looks like it's moving that way. Families and firefighters alike watching the big black cloud, waiting until they could see the sun again. Even though we live in a big wooded community, brush fires really aren't common here. The firefighters have gone back to the station, but they're ready to respond if the wind picks up overnight. I'm told deputies are patrolling the boundaries in case that happens, and officials say you will still see the smoke in the area, probably even for the next couple of days until all those hot spots are gone. I'm Ann McNamara, Fox 43 News.